Hello, my YouTube family. I'm, I know there's, the numbers look really small, but you know what? When I pray at night, I still pray for all the ones that watched my channel when before it got taken down. And I know I'm not working hard to build it back up, but just as I'm led and I do have some videos on my desktop. I still haven't gone through them. I have not yet totally regained all the energy I would like to. It's been a little rough lately in the last six or eight weeks, but it's okay. I'm not about numbers. I'm about reaching the lost and educating those who have accepted Jesus and need to know some things. And I'm not perfect, but um, look, when you're called to be a messenger, you do the best you can. And I don't get messages from the Lord anymore like I used to, but I, every time I pray about totally quitting, something will pop up. In somebody's message that says, do not quit now, you're, you're, you're so close, or something to that effect. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I got the message, because I feel he's talking to me, too. All right, I might have said that already, but it might have been in, on the other channel. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to read this message from the Lord. It was given to Heaven's Shofar on, uh, well, received 11 24 2020. And it was posted on uh, 444 Prophecy News July the 2nd, 2021 at 3 08 p.m. Now, I found it on Grafted In Team Jesus 222 channel all right um they shared it on their channel so i'm going to read it to you from their channel okay because another disclaimer if you go to 444 prophecy news just to read all the prophecy you're going to find discrepancies because some of it is not from the lord it's it's got it's it can be confusing to a new person to uh, if you don't have a full understanding of the word if you do not have a gift of discernment and I mean a good discernment because Satan is so sneaky he's using words that sound right kind of sort of but then when you get to digging like on the team, we discuss some of these and say, no, half of them will go, mm, I don't think so. So the other half might say, well, okay then, we won't share that. You see, that's what's so great about being on a team of people where everybody has a variety of gifts. And I think most of us have discernment. Okay. This says, O oh, Babylon the Great, it pains me so to bring forth your destruction. You were once a great nation devoted to me and walking in my ways. Now I can barely look at you, for you are the mother of all harlots. And have led many, many nations astray. You will pay for your infidelities and for your choices you have made that have taken others f further and further away from me. Let me read that again. You will pay for your infidelities and for the choices you have made that have taken others further and further away from me. You will know what it feels like to mourn, weep, and wail 
as many of the things you hold dear, like freedoms and possessions, will soon be no more. For the first time ever, you will know what it is like to fight without me on your side. Whoa. The agony of defeat will be felt by all in your land as I allow your enemies to overrun your borders, take you captive, and ultimately seal your fate. Yep, that's the truth. Oh, once great nation, how did it come to this? Why did you stray from me, your creator? Who gave you this beautiful, is that a comma? I think so. Your creator, who gave you this beautiful and abundant land of resources beyond compare. No other nation did I bless the way I blessed you, and yet that was not enough. Your greed led you to covet that of your neighbors, parentheses. He meant us coveting other countries' natural resources, close parentheses. You started wars and shed innocent blood, not for the sake of my gospel, but for the sake of filling your pockets with more resources and spoils of war, in parentheses, that did not belong to you. Boy, that's the truth. We have, we have military bases all over this world so we could control their resources and also be allies to them in, in time of war. Yeah, right. We wanted their resources. Many innocent lives were lost on foreign soil because of your greed and lust for, quote, mammon, unquote, exclamation mark. Well, now you will have your portion. War is coming, I tell you, war on American soil, such as has never been seen in your history such as has never before been seen in your history. Well, we had the Civil War and we had the Revolutionary War, and I'm sure they weren't pretty, but this is going to be worse. Destruction beyond anything this country could ever dream possible. Drink from your cup. O oh, Babylon, mother of all harlots, drink every last drop. I am, will see to it that you never rise again. Nothing will be left. You will be naked, desolate, and uninhabitable. That's right. Yet you read Jeremiah 50 and 51. Chapters 50 and 51, that's America it's talking about. That only the owls and jackals will inhabit our homes. Your enemies will laugh and rejoice at your destruction, for they will finally receive their vengeance, as too shall I. You, America, want no part of me, and I'm about to let you have your way one last and final time. When I am done with you, you will know once and for all who I really am. For I am that I am, Yahweh the Almighty. God the Father stopped speaking and Jesus interjected. O oh, wicked and perverse nation who prides herself in being, quote, the best, unquote, at everything she does. Repent, I tell you, 
Repent, for your end is near. Nothing and no one is safe. Save for my remnant, they shall not be harmed, but will bring hope and good news to those remaining lost sheep in my fold. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. Beloved remnant, feed my lambs. Yeshua, the Good Shepherd. Scripture references are Ezekiel 24.14 from the ESV Bible. I am the Lord, I have spoken. It shall come to pass. I will do it. I will not go back. I will not spare. I will not relent. According to your ways and your deeds, you will be judged, declares the Lord God. Revelation 18.2 and NIV. With a mighty voice he shouted, <clears throat> Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. And then there's an A in brackets. She has become a dwelling for demons and a haunt for every impure spirit. A haunt for every unclean bird. A haunt for every unclean and detestable animal. That's Jeremiah 50.22. Now wait a minute. I thought that was Revelation 18.2. Okay, it is. This is Jeremiah 50, verse uh, 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. That's the only one they quoted from Jeremiah. I'm surprised. Psalm 37, 12, and 13 from the NIV. The wicked plot against the righteous the wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. Next one is Joel 2.12 from the NIV. Even now, declares the Lord, Return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. John 10, 27-29 in the King James Version. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. All right, this is from Jeremiah 15, 14. I will enslave you to your enemies in, in brackets, there's an A, a land you do not know. For my anger will kindle a fire that will burn against you. I will enslave you to your enemies. Okay. Could that could be referring to America? I didn't think we would be taken off this land. It's possible. Anyway, Revelation 3:17. If the Lord led, led this person to that scripture, then that's the truth. I mean, the scripture's true, obviously. I just didn't think that meant that had to do with America, but there it is. Revelation 3.17 Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked? Yeah, absolutely. These rich people that got all this stuff, they think money buys happiness, and 
is giving them security because they don't know the word and they don't know it says uh, they will throw their silver and gold into the streets because it'll become worthless without the mark of the beast uh, you know when that comes about uh, when uh, I think things will go to cryptocurrency don't y'all I believe that's what people are talking about okay this is a little hard to read because it's red okay all right next is Revelation 18 verse 7 in the King James Version how much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart I sit a queen and I am no widow and shall see no sorrow yeah right Isaiah 13 9 in the NIV see the day of the Lord is coming a cruel day with wrath and fierce anger to make the and then there's brackets or no that's an L sorry to make the land desolate and destroy the sinners within it okay so I can put the link to their page and you you can go back and read it again if you would like and here I'll just go ahead and get this picture they have up on here okay so capture all right I like that picture all right so that's the end of this message I plead the blood of Jesus over it so it'll go up and stay up oh Lord please let it stay up some of these messages they're very hard to hear but people need to hear them and it's for the second rounders of course those left behind if you don't completely give your life over to Christ I mean fully committed full on loving him Father Son and Holy Spirit more than your family members more than your house more than your career everything you've got to love him more than love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. The second commandment is love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus tells us whatever you do or fail to do for the least of thy brethren, that you do unto Jesus. So don't forget that. And be mindful of how you treat other people. Love the unlovable is what I say. Love them the best you can. All right. Uh, and repent when you don't. Repent when you mess up. Keep repenting when you mess up. If you fail to do something good, repent. Say, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. I bypassed that person. It's the same as bypassing you, and I'm so, so sorry. Forgive me. All right, that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you soon again.